So the method of superposition is also known the method of consistent deformation. So I, the idea was discussed in the principles involved in example 126. Determine the reactions at A and C and the moment at B. The moment of inertia for the segments are indicated. E is constant solved by the superposition method and in the superposition method let's apply in particular the conjugate p method this time although you can use double integration again uh, area moment method energy method like virtual work and Castigliano second theory because the idea is we remove in this case this is indeterminate to the first degree so we remove one of the support so that the beam becomes simply supported for instance i will remove b here it will deflect downward then later on we apply an upward force so that it will deflect upward so that the net deflection at b would be zero because there's no yielding of the supports here so that's the idea moment of inertia of portion a b is 400 times 10 to the 6 b c 200 times 10 to the 6 so Let's denote 200 times 10 to the 6 as I. Then, therefore, in AB, the moment of inertia is 2I. So that's a deflected shape, assuming B is removed. So when B is removed, you can compute the reaction at A. Take note, it becomes simply supported. So reaction at A times 9 equals 30 times 5 times 2.5 plus 30 times 8. So that's why you'll get 205 over 3 kilonewtons. I want you to verify that. And at C, it is 335 over 3 kilonewtons. So from there, we can now construct the moment diagram by parts. Let's call that deflection at B due to the load. So this is the moment due to this reaction. Let's select B as our moment center. 205 over 3 times 4 divided by 2 because the moment of inertia is 2i. So it will give us 410 over 3 ei. Then the moment of the 30 kN load at B is 30 times 3. So supposedly 90 but divided by 2. So 45 over ei. And moment due to this reaction at B is simply 335 over 3 times 5, and that is 1675 over 3 EI. Then due to the uniform load, second degree, 30 times 5 times 2.5 is 375 over 3 EI, and that's second degree. So we will have the beam, which is steel roller and pin supported. That's the conjugate beam. Then we will call the slope here as theta A due to the load. Then downward here for positive direction, theta C of the load. So let's solve theta L considering the entire conjugate beam. Summation moment right at C is 0. So theta AL times 9. Then plus 1 half of 4 times 410 over 3 times 4 thirds plus 5 moment arm or distance of centroid to this support uh, by the way EI is removed because it is constant but for theta we will just divide by EI later plus 1 half of 5 times 1675 over 3 times 2 thirds of 5 is 10 thirds then minus 1, half, 1 third of 5 times 375 over 3 this is this is 5 over 4, 1.25. So the distance of the centroid of this area from the right is 5 minus 1.25, so 3.75. Then minus 1 half of 3 times 45 over EI. This is 1 and that is 5, so the moment arm is 6. Minus 1 half of 3 times 45 times 6 equals 0. So we can also data A left. Or th no, theta A due to the load, negative 403.904 over EI. Then after that, because this is conjugate B method, we'll have the, the 
thus deflection at B due to the load represented by the moment at the section. And let us say that's the theta B, theta B due to the load. Not theta B left, but theta B due to the load. So considering this portion, uh, summation moment at, at B equals 0, so theta B left, which is counterclockwise, equals clockwise moment. So clockwise theta AL, which is negative 403.904 times 4, plus 1 half of 4, 410 over 3, moment arm 4 thirds, which is that, then minus 1 half of 3 times 45 times 1. So theta B left is equal to negative 1318.672 over EI supposedly. Then we apply an upward load which is reaction at B. Then it tax at B. This is 4, this is 5. So the reaction is downward RB times 5 over 9. So that's the deflected shape, just to emphasize. So 5 over 9 of RB, so this is 4 over 9 of RB downward. Then the moment diagram by parts at B as center would be as shown. That's the conjugate beam, 5 over 9 RB times 4 divided by 2, because the moment of inertia is 2I, is 10 RB over 9, then the moment of 4 over 9 RB times 5 is 20 RB over 9. As shown. Then we will call this theta A due to re reaction. And downward here, theta A, theta C due to reaction. So let's solve for theta AR. Summation moment C equals 0. So theta AR times 9. Minus, minus, or equals, let's begin with this, 1 half of 4 times 10 RB over 9 times 4 thirds plus 5, the moment arm, plus 1 half of 5 times 20 over 9 RB times 2 thirds of 5, which is 10 thirds. So simplifying, theta AR equals 880 RB over 243. Then we compute for delta B due to reaction which is also delta B due to the reaction and that's delta theta B due to the reaction so to solve this summation moment about B considering AB 0 so counterclockwise moment equals clockwise moment so theta AR times 4 883 RB over 240, theta AR times 4, then minus moment of this load, 1 half of 4, 10 RB over 9, times moment arm, 4 thirds. So simplifying, theta B right is 2800 over 240 RB. Since theta B left plus theta B right must be 0 at B, there's no subtle yielding, then we equate the 2 or add, sorry, we add the 2 to get 0 deflection at B. So R sub B can now be computed, it is equal to 114.442 kilonewtons. Then by statics, Summation moment at C0, take note there is RB now, RA times 9 plus RB which is 114.442 times 5, then minus 30 times 8 minus 30 times 5 times 2.5 equals 0. So from there we can solve RA. So 4.754 and the reaction at C by just you may sum up moments about A or summation versus Y. 4.754 summation versus Y plus RB plus RC equal minus 30 minus 30 times 5 equals 0. So R sub C equals 60.8 kilonewtons. Then for 
moment at B. So let's have moment at B here, positive direction, considering AB. There is shear, but we sum up moment at about B, so the shear is not involved. So it is RA, which is 4.754 times 4 minus 30 times 3 minus MB equals 0. So take note that you consider AB and we sum up moments about B. So MB is, neg is negative 70.98 kilonewton meter. So that's it for this problem.